Ah, uh, yes, here we have a new fraction broadcast coming right in. Today we're going to be doing adding fractions with like denominators and fractions with unlike denominators. How about this macaroni and cheese problem? I have one third of a box of macaroni and cheese plus one third of a box of macaroni and cheese. How much macaroni and cheese do I have out of a big box? I have two thirds. Let's put them together to show that visually. Two thirds. Check that out. You can also see that two thirds is also equivalent to eight twelfths. Eight out of twelve boxes. Pretty neat. All right, so right here I have two boxes of macaroni and cheese, and they're rep going to represent an addition problem. So in my first box of macaroni and cheese here, I have one third. So one third box of macaroni and cheese. So in this box here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of twelve. So that's going to be 7 twelfths. So how can I do that? I have to find a common denominator. So you have to think of equivalent fractions of 1 third and 7 twelfths and see which ones you can use to make it work. So let's see here. I know that if I multiplied 3 by 4, I could get to 12. So why don't I do that? Let's do 1 times 4, and I'm just going to put this new fraction down here, is 4, and 3 times 4 is 12. So I have 4 twelfths plus 7 twelfths. And then I have 11 twelfths. Should I check my work with my real world problem? I can do that. I have 11 twelfths of a box of macaroni and cheese. Let's go ahead and take a look at this problem. Someone has eaten one of the cans out of this pack and one of the cans out of this pack, leaving two packs that are only a fraction full. I have 3 fourths of this pack plus 3 fourths of this pack. How much do I have total of packs of mini raviolis? Well, I have six fourths. Six fourths? That's an improper fraction. Does that mean it's wrong? No way. It just means that you have six total pieces when they're originally grouped out of fourths. How can I put this into a mixed number? Well, how many times does four go into six? One time. So I would have one whole package, and then how much would I have left over? So if you take four and put it into six, you would still have two left over. Let's double check our work. I'm going to take one of these cans and put it in the other one just to make sure we're correct. Did it work? Sure did. I have one and two fourths. Can I simplify that even further? Yep, I can do that if I want to. So one and a half. And voila, equivalent fractions, equivalent mixed numbers. And more ravioli for me. Here we have another ravioli problem. I've eaten another can of ravioli. So now I have a half of a pack of ravioli and three fourths of a pack of ravioli. How much ravioli do I have left? Well, it's important to go ahead and turn our fractions into equivalent fractions so they have common denominators. And figure out which way it makes sense to do that. Would it be easier to go ahead and multiply up to get to the 4, or to reduce it, divide by 2, and get to the 2? 4 divided by 2 is 2, but 3 divided by 2 gets the messy number of 1 and a half. 
that's not going to do. So let's go ahead and take this half, multiply the top number by 2 and the bottom number by 2. So 1 times 2 is 2, and 2 times 2 is 4. So 1 half is the same as 2 fourths. You could have even done that mentally. All right, so 2 fourths plus 3 fourths is equal to 5 fourths. Full can How many full packs do I have ravioli? Well, 4 could go into 5 one time, and then what do we have left? We only have one of those fourths left. Let's double check our work. There we are, one full pack and one can left. One and one fourth is the answer. Okay, so let's take a look at this problem. I have six fifteenths and five twentieths. What I want to do is to go ahead and change them into equivalent fractions to where they have a common denominator. To do this, I'm going to go ahead and list the multiples of each denominator, starting with 15. So I'm going to go ahead and count by 15s for a while. 15, 30, 45, 60. Okay, and now I'm going to take my multiples of 20. So we're going to start off with 20, then 40, then 60. Do you see an opportunity to make a common denominator? I do, the least common multiple would be 60. I could have continued, we could have used a larger number, but that's just not necessary. You're going to keep going until you find a common multiple. So I can turn these fractions into equivalent fractions with the common denominator of 60. What did I multiply 15 by to get to 60? 1, 2, 3, 4. So 15 times 4 is equal to 60. So I'm going to have to do the same thing to my numerator. So 6 times 4 is 24. So now I have 24 sixtieths. Right? Now I'm going to have to create a new fraction with my 5 twentieths. So how did I get 20 to 60? Well, let's see here. 1, 2, 3. So I multiplied 20 times 3 to get 60. And I multiplied, and I'm going to multiply 5 by 3 to get 15. I'm going to rewrite this down here just so there's enough room. So I have 24 sixtieths plus 15 sixtieths. I now have common denominators. And I get 39 sixtieths. To help you add fractions with unlike denominators. You must turn them into equivalent fractions with like denominators. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys next time.